everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm going to be doing another race weekend vlog for you guys this time at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It's currently 5.30 in the morning on a Thursday. I'm about to head to the airport to board a plane to fly to New Hampshire Motor Speedway for our next K&N race. And I'm going to take you along for the ride this weekend. I'm super exhausted right now. I was up really late getting schoolwork done and trying to get ahead on my college work because I'm going to be missing a couple days and not uh, be available to submit assignments that are due online and such. So got that done, ready to get to the track this weekend and get back in a race car. Just arrived at New Hampshire Motor Speedway for this weekend's race. It's always amazing coming to these cup tracks with these big grandstands and just the bigger tracks are always so much fun. It's really cool and it's honestly just a blessing to be here. I'm super fortunate to be in the position I'm in and really grateful for my opportunity. So thank you for all you guys supporting me and everybody who helps make this possible for me. It's Thursday, this is gonna be a three day show. where We have the open test session today and then we're gonna have practice and qualifying tomorrow on Friday and then Saturday will be race day. So we're here with the NASCAR Well and Modified Tour as well as the NASCAR Pinty Series, then obviously us in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East Race. So it's going to be a really fun weekend. The race will be live streamed, so I'll post about that. You should definitely check that out. So uh, hoping for a good weekend. We had a pretty successful run here last time. We finished third and it was a shorter race, it was 70 laps and it went green flag without a caution. This time it's 125 with a break for tires and adjustments. So uh, we should have, should be able to fine tune some things a little more and, and learn from uh, what happened, you know, our last run here. So hopefully we'll be able to be two spots better and come home with the win. Hey everyone, just checked into the hotel room. I went out to eat with my parents after practice and then came here. So I'm gonna shower, get some rest then wake up in the morning and go to the track and we have practice and qualifying tomorrow. We had a pretty successful day of practice today. Um, pretty happy with the car. Got to try a lot since we had all day to test and practice. So that was good. Um, got a little bit more time tomorrow, about two 50 minute practice sessions before qualifying. And hopefully we, we take advantage of those and then qualify really well so we can start the race up front because that'll be key in my opinion just because this track's really hard to pass out. I think it's going to be even harder than last time because there's less of the traction compound down. It's it's definitely a little bit, there's definitely more grip where it was placed but it's worn out and it's not quite as much there. So we'll see what happens. I'm really looking forward to it, really excited about this weekend and I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. So something really cool, we're going to have NBC Sports for the race broadcast. So the race is going to be live streamed. But for NBC Sports, when they tape delay the race, which will air on Thursday at 6 p.m., there's going to be an in-car camera, I actually believe two, in my car. So when you watch a race, I'm, I'm going to have this uploaded Monday is my plan. I'm going to edit on Sunday. So you'll be able to watch a race this coming Thursday and see in-car footage from me. I'll be the only car on the track with it. So every time they go to that, you'll see that, and it's going to be – really neat. I think it's, it'll be really cool. I always enjoyed that from a fan's perspective, seeing in-car cameras. So to have that in my own car is really cool. I've done GoPro footage stuff for you guys and for myself 
um, to study film and stuff, but never actually had it as a part of the broadcast. So that's really cool for me, as well as my partners, because we'll have their decals inside the car and get some get them some great TV time. So hey, everybody, just finished practice for the day, our second and final round. So now we're uh, get ready to qualify just in a little bit here. Made some adjustments and got the car better. It changed, the track changed a lot today because the Pinty series and the modified started running and they laid down their rubber, which is a different tire compound than ours. So that changed a couple things up. So we were second fastest overall after our second and final practice, only by two one hundredths of a second. So we're happy about that. Gonna try to find a little bit more speed for qualifying and gonna go try and qualify in the pole so we can start the race up front tomorrow from the first place starting position and hopefully have a good day from there. Hey everybody, just got back from the racetrack and dinner for the day so we're finished up and all we got left is a race day tomorrow so i'm really excited about that got the in-car camera installed i am bummed i didn't get a lot of in-car footage for you guys this week because you can only use a camera in the car on open test day so i was unable to get my gopro because i was in the car for the whole time i'm hoping they'll allow me to use some of the in-car camera footage for the vlog that'd be really cool to provide for you guys but um on actual practice day like today you can't because it's a nascar sanctioned day you're not allowed to get footage or anything only on the optional test day so that stinks but oh well we uh had a really good day of practice i think we got the car pretty dialed in i'm really happy with it um we made a mock qualifying run that we were happy with as well and uh we're second fastest overall in practice i mentioned that as before <laughs> then we had qualifying and I ended up qualifying ninth, which isn't where I wanted to be. I'm kind of disappointed. I believe I could have been a little bit better than that. So I got my work cut out for me tomorrow. I'm going to have to uh, really drive hard. It's going to make it that much harder to get up to the front. But uh, hopefully when we get there, we can stay there and take advantage of any opportunities that arise and just race hard and be able to race for the win at the end of it. So I'm excited. I really like this racetrack and I think it's going to be a good race tomorrow. I'm ready to finish up my some of my college work I have due tonight online had some last night it's frustrating it's hard to when you can't be fully dialed in on a race weekend because of this stuff but trying to get it done and tomorrow's race day well everybody it's about time to get suited up We've got autograph sessions coming up next then driver introductions then the Pinty series gonna race first and then we got our race so I'm really
invincible. Just got back from Loudon, New Hampshire. Got on the plane right after the race, so I didn't really have time to update you guys on how the race went besides posting on my social media, but got on the plane, flew back, just got back to my place. So um, pretty long weekend, you know, three-day weekend is a little bit stretched out. When I was talking about qualifying ninth, not being happy about that and knowing I had to work that much harder to get to the front, I feel like I did a pretty good job of digging myself out of that hole. I, gotten to third pretty early in the race. So I was pretty happy about that. And then, um, you know, in the beginning of the race, the car was really good. And I thought we had definitely a winning car, top three at the very least. And I had to work my way through traffic a little bit. And by the time I got into third, the first and second place runners had gotten pretty far ahead, but I actually ran them all the way back down and was at the bumper of the second place car come the end of the first stage. Uh, we stayed out, didn't come down pit road and ended up coming down to the second stage. I messed up on the restart of second stage, spun the tires really bad and lost quite a few spots, but gained them back. The problem was it took me about the whole second stage to get them back, so that was frustrating, but I, I got back into the position and came down and, and pitted um, from the third position, and one car had stayed out, so we ended up restarting fourth, and the top lane just got stacked up because someone didn't get going, and uh, I lost more spots and had to gain those back, and. I got past a couple cars and the, I started getting aero tight really bad, mostly because of the characteristics of the racetrack, but uh, once that happened, I think I got the right front really hot and the car would just turn less and less and um, kind of faded a little bit and lost my run I had on the, on the car in front of me, but was able to maintain and I tried to make another run at him, but at that point I just couldn't get back to him and the car started getting really free in the center, especially in one and two. It got, I was hard, you know, it was just stepping out from underneath me. So fought that and, and couldn't really get back. And then there was a caution right at the end. And once again, the lane I was, I had, I just kept getting unlucky with the lanes I was in on the restarts and it got stacked up and you can't pass before the start finish line. So there's nowhere to go. You just have to basically watch the people inside you drive by you. And it's really frustrating. And then we just got moved around and bounced around like a pinball. So that didn't help and and fought hard and came back six so I'll take it I didn't leave anything on the racetrack today so I'm satisfied with my performance I'm just not happy with the end result I think we should have finished in the top three and the car wasn't quite as good at the end of the race as it was in the beginning so we'll have to figure out why that happened but um, I think we had a winning car to begin the race but all in all solid weekend 
hopefully we could carry this momentum into our next race at Dover in Delaware on October 5th. And I guess I'm gonna conclude the race day vlog here. That's been it. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, this was fun. Uh, let me know if I should do it again. I appreciate your guys' support. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.